All right, what I'm gonna get into today is, is social media fake? I think to a certain point it is, and I'm gonna kind of explain what I've seen throughout the years, especially kind of having a decent following on social media, starting way back even when it was um, MySpace. I love that platform, actually, and then kind of going the, uh, you know, like Facebook, like a lot of people. I wasn't huge into Instagram. I loved LinkedIn, and then Twitter, and now I have a YouTube channel and a podcast, and I've kind of seen, I guess you could say to a certain degree, the ups and downs of social media, and I think the strengths and weaknesses as well. From my perspective, that's what I'm going to talk about today. So how I want to talk about this too is, first I should say, I don't want to be negative towards social media. Like I said, I like it, but I do think a lot of people are being fooled by what they're seeing on social media. That could be fake gurus out there pitching their bullshit, or also even family members, friends, colleagues, kind of sometimes pretending that their life is a certain way when it isn't. And what I really want to kind of get into in this as well is how I think a lot of people, I guess it falls in two categories that I see. Well, three actually. One is you're being fooled. I think a lot of people just totally underestimate when they're watching things or looking at photos or following certain people thinking their life is amazing when a lot of times it isn't. It's not always cracked up to, like, to be what it looks like. And I think people have to acknowledge this. I mean, you got to take an honest approach on this. I don't care if you follow celebrities again, your family members or other people, their life isn't all glamorous. It isn't all amazing. I, I'm sure they're doing a lot of great things at certain times, but behind closed doors, you got to realize there's a lot of bullshit going on. You got to realize that, right? And what I want to get into too, so here's the second one kind of, is the jealousy kind of component. I do think a lot of people out there get jealous because they're following others that they think they're doing or those people are doing things that they should be doing. So they're like, man, can you believe this couple went to Hawaii? Man, I, I should be in Hawaii. That's That should be us, not them, right? Or they see other people doing, again, certain things, um, not just vacationing. It could just be in business. It could be just things in general that you really think they're kicking it in the ass. It could be even in their business if they're an entrepreneur. Oh my God, look at all these posts. Look at all these things they're getting accomplished. What you don't even realize is how much money they're in debt, right? I'm just saying. So you have to, again, take an honest approach with that. But I think all of this leads to a lot of people being depressed. And that's kind of why I'm making this video is because, listen, I get a lot of times people are going to be doing a lot of things you want to do and you may not be able to afford them. You may not have access to them. You may not live in the same area they live in, have the same type of job, uh, just not experience what, you know, a lot of others are experiencing. It's a hard hit. I get it. But here's the thing too, you got to realize if you truly want to do these things, you're going to have to get creative to figure out how to do them. I don't know if you want to find a job that allows you to do them. I don't know if you want to just take on other avenues to make more money so you can do them, or at least maybe, again, when I, let's get creative, I should say, first and foremost. I'll just give you a quick example. Like, I go to a lot of car shows, right? And in Florida, there's your museums where you could pay 20 to $50 to go into a car show. And then you have free car shows all over the place. And a lot of people are like, Rich, man, how do you get to go to all these car shows? I don't pay for the car shows. I know the museums may have maybe older, uh, more unique cars, but a lot of times I'm just going to a car show because it's free and I get to see all these dynamic cars. I don't even spend a lot of money, but when you look at the photos or the videos, you're like, how the hell does he do this? The truth is it's free. A lot of things that you may want to do don't have to cost thousands of dollars to enjoy certain things, all right? And I'm going to wrap it up with this because I'm trying to keep these videos short. I think a lot of people think other people took their spot which is ridiculous. I'm just telling you this. Uh, it could be, you know, it's life isn't like a workplace a lot of times where, oh my God, that guy got that position and I deserved it. That happens. I get it. But in life, a lot of times, again, on social media, you'll, you're seeing other people. Like for instance, say you're in the entertainment business. I used to deal with actors and stuff and somebody got a role or somebody's doing certain things on television or films or whatever. And they're like, that sucks. That should be me. That's my spot. I should be the one, not them or all these things. What are you talking about? You create your own spots. You don't realize how much time, effort, or work that, that person put into this. But I see this also personal people doing this. You could see this in relationships. I talk a lot about helping men find, you know, the woman or women of their dreams. And a lot of them are jealous and they don't want to admit it. They're mad that maybe their friends uh, found or their friend found somebody, right? A close friend. Now they're dating somebody and they're, 
they're single or some one of their friends or a couple of them got married and then they're not married yet. They get a house, this person doesn't, and then all of a sudden on social media, you see them posting things about their new home. Could be a new car. All these different types of things, again, that's not your, you got to create your own spot for what you want to do and how you want to do it. All right. I'm just telling you, quit worrying about what everybody else does. I'm not going to sit here and be like some, do all these type of things and it's going to work out for you. But I will tell you, jealousy is not going to work for you. You being also depressed over what you're seeing on social media is not going to work out for you. Most likely the one thing I like to do a lot of times when I see people doing other things is use it as drive, not to deplete me. So if I do see somebody doing something unique that I want to do, I want to go do it. I want to figure out how to do it. I don't want to sit there and be mad or jealous or insecure that they're doing it and I'm not. All right? That's it. Also, don't trust the media. You hear it all the time. Anyways, all right. That's all I got for you. Got any questions or comments? Hit me up. I'm going to start doing videos like this and also probably posting these on my podcast as well. But I want to just try a different thing for a while and see how it works out. All right? Questions or comments? Email me. I don't care if you dig on me, uh, you rip on me, or say something nice. Either way, I just uh, I love corresponding with people any way I can. All right? Take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.